Hello guys, this is CloneTrooper19, and today I'm going to be trying to show you guys how to um, work with the leaderboards and making a point system for your game. It's actually a really basic thing, but I'm, I'm going to be showing you kind of how it works. So first, let me just start off a solo run. There I am. And if we go into the Explorer and open up the player object, you'll see that it has the backpacks, charter gear, and player GUI. To get the to set up the um, leaderboard, we first want to insert an integer value or int value, and then we want to name it leader stats, no caps, just that. And you'll notice it may have just flickered there for a second because it was setting up. And then any int value that we put into here will show up on the list. So we could name this points. And if you if we give it a sec. Yeah, the player list is a little buggy, but if we just cut this and reinsert it, that's weird. Anyways, so that's kind of how it works. Sorry about the name. It's just a bug with the player list. So whatever the value is here, that's what it will display. Now, if we wanted this to happen to any automatically to any player that enters the game, we have to make a script first. So let me just insert a script real quick. So first, we need to create the player enter function. And this will start off a function that basically fires when the player a player enters the game, and the player object is basically the player that has entered the game. So we could actually just print player to name. You can do whatever you want with it, but whatever. So first, we want to create the leader stats. So local a equals instance that new int value player, and this adds an integer value to the player. But then we have to name it leader sets. And then we want to create the points. Which adds another integer value to which adds an integer value to the leader stats. And then we name it points. And if you want to set the value you can set it by default, but we don't need to do that. And then we close off the function, and then we have to connect it. So game the players the player added connect on player entered. And if you want to add more leader sets, you can repeat this process. I can just copy and paste this, place this with C, and change the name of this to maybe wins, I suppose. And so if I test the game when I spawn, I should spawn with the leader stats yep there they are so this was a basic tutorial i hope it may have helped you with something and thank you for watching